here and today we're getting right out of bed and we're making one of our favorite breakfast items. Well, with a little PLB twist on it. I'm making waffles. Cookies. We're making waffle cookies. Come on, donkey, get it together. So this breakfasty dessert may be a little out of the ordinary for us pretty little bakers, but you guys have to trust me. They're easy, they're fun, they're so adorable, and they're delicious. Before we get started, these waffle cookies came about because I was fortunate enough to collaborate with Stacy Ice Foundation Naomi, Not Afraid of My Imperfections. She's an incredible human being, and she put on this event to empower girls and women alike. Stacy asked me about my thoughts on waffles, and so I immediately started brainstorming how the heck I can make waffles into a dessert. And that's when I stumbled upon Lauren Lostan's recipe for these waffle cookies. So thank you, Lauren, for posting this genius invention. Now, these waffle cookies require a little bit more attention and labor. Seven ingredients total. I know our typical PLB dessert requires minimal ingredients, but again, you guys gotta trust me on this one. So that's just for the waffle cookies alone. We're gonna also dip them in milk chocolate and white chocolate and then put a couple different toppings on top. I'm hungry, I'm ready for breakfast. Let's grab all of our equipment and ingredients and let's start baking. These waffle cookies require one cup of unsalted butter, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, three eggs, two cups of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And for the equipment, you'll need a waffle iron, cooking spray, a stand mixer or a bowl with either a hand mixer or a whisk, a spoon, and last but not least, you'll need a baking sheet lined with wax paper just to allow the cookies to cool. Okay, okay, I know it's a lot. Trust me, just trust me, guys. First things first, we gotta turn the waffle iron on to medium high. Now let's start mixing the butter and sugar together until it's fluffy. You wanna give yourself a good five minutes. You guys still with me? Good. Next up, let's add the vanilla and crack them eggs. Now it's time to mix it all up. Turning the mixer to low, let's add the last ingredients. We got flour, salt, and cinnamon. Mix everything until it's just combined. And now for the fun part. Make sure you spray down the waffle iron every single time you put new dough on. Using your spoon, simply drop a spoonful of dough onto each section of your waffle iron. Now let's cook these bad boys for about three to four minutes. They're done. Now all we gotta do is transfer them to our wax lined baking sheet to cool. Aye, I probably should be using gloves with a fork to take them out from the waffle iron. <laughs> They're a bit fluffy, but don't worry, they'll harden up once they cool. So now that we have our waffle cookies, we gotta stop and appreciate these bad boys before we make them all purry. Cheers! Mmm. Yeah, these have quickly become my new favorite breakfast item. It's like a waffle, but it tastes like a cookie. And that's why they're called waffle cookies. <laughs> okay, okay, let's turn it up a notch Head over to the dipping bar and let's make these into an exceptional breakfast treat. I've melted white chocolate melts and milk chocolate melts in the microwave in 30 second increments until they became smooth. I also have my two bowls of sprinkles, my chopped walnuts, and a little bowl of cinnamon. Feel free to add any other toppings that you want on your waffle cookies. I'm just gonna dip the bottom half of my waffle cookie in the white chocolate. I'm gonna place it on the wax lined baking sheet and add a small amount of cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon goes a really long way. Next, I'll dip this waffle cookie in the milk chocolate, add some sprinkles, and pretty much just keep repeating until you are completely satisfied with your waffle cookies. Guys, I'm so excited about these waffle cookies. I like that they firmed up a bit and that they're dipped in chocolate. I mean, really, what more could you ask for a breakfast treat? Now, it's been about 30 minutes since I dipped my first cookie and the chocolate has hardened, so all that's left to do is indulge. Mmm. <laughs> I like that you can really taste the cinnamon in these cookies. Like I said, a little bit of cinnamon goes a really long way. And we just put a small amount inside the batter and it tastes phenomenal. I mean, the chocolate 
also makes a great difference too. I love that the recipe is everything a simple cookie calls for, but it's made in a waffle iron, which means it's that much cooler and way more adorable than the typical cookie. A big thank you to Lauren Lowstan again for sharing your recipe with us. I hope you guys give her recipe a go. I promise you won't be disappointed. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest PLB easy desserts and head over to prettylittlebakers.com for other treat of the week recipes and more vlogs. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of these waffle cookies in bed since I'm nice and comfy in my jammies. So I'll see you guys next time.